I like a dinner with minimal prep, minimal ingredients, maximum flavor. That's what this is tonight. We're doing a one pan roasted chicken and root vegetables. Big array of vegetables, chicken on top as it cooks. It just flavors everything. It's impeccable. You're going to love it. Let's get to it. I've got my roasting pan in the oven, um, like 375. It's been heating up there for a while, convection setting. We're gonna just start by chopping up our vegetables and getting those ready. I've got a couple lemons here as well that we're gonna add to it. So start with celery. We'll do three stalks, trim off the tops and bottoms. All of this has been washed and we're just gonna go rustic chop on most of this into our bowl beets i've got five beets here i don't want to get rid of the tops entirely those roast up and get real tender so i want to keep those intact trim off the tail though and then we're just going to cut that depending on the size of the beet in half or in quarter this small guy in half this one's a little bigger so he'll get quartered Using golden beets uh, for no other reason than that's what my store had. Red beets works great as well, though it will turn everything else in there red. So keep that in mind. Carrots, four or five, depending on their size. All of those bits that you trim off, all of that is perfect for stock. So save it, make sure you uh, put it in a bag in the freezer and you can use it for chicken stock later. Fennel, trim off the base, and then just into pieces like so. It'll kind of fall apart and season everything else. Have an acorn squash here. Go right through the top. I'm gonna scoop out the insides. We'll cut that kind of into pieces like that. Purple onion, take off the top, cut in half and then take off the papery layers, each of those halves into quarters like so, and then into eighths. For the garlic, we're gonna peel off the papery bits on the outside as best we can. Take our knife and cut through the very tops of the cloves around the outside. Just slice right through that. And this bit goes in. I was gonna add Brussels sprouts, had them here. They were not great. They're also not critical to this, so skipping that. And instead, I'm going to add a couple more carrots. Just give them a toss. Duck fat. We're going to go in probably two tablespoons of duck fat. You can also not use duck fat if you don't want to. That's fine. Just olive oil is great. I'm going to do a mix, an extra one and a half tablespoons of that. And then seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder is great. This is my house blend here. Two teaspoons of that. And then some extra black pepper. Probably another half teaspoon. And then toss it to coat everything evenly. In addition to that, two lemons. Cut in half, and half again. The oregano, I'm gonna pull all of the leaves off, give it a little chop. We wanna end up with probably close to a tablespoon of chopped fresh oregano. If you're using dried, then like one and a half teaspoons maybe. Next thing we're gonna do, prep our chicken. 
I want a little bit more of that duck fat on there, a little bit of olive oil, and just spread that all around the outside. You can get underneath the skin just a little bit. And more of our seasoning, whatever your favorite is, about a teaspoon across the top, three quarters of a teaspoon maybe. Flip it over, another half teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm gonna also hit it just with a little more black pepper on both sides. Part of a lemon here and just hit the top all around with some zest. Our heated pan, because this is heated and we have oil on the vegetables, they will not stick. So those go straight in. Oh, the smell, so good. Shake to get everything evened out. Move it around a little bit. Smelling this, I need one more ingredient, nutmeg. Just a little fresh ground nutmeg on top of those vegetables. Just a pinch, a little on the chicken as well. Our roasting rack just right on top of the vegetables is fine. My sage, we'll put that around the edges so we can easily take it out. Rosemary in the center and then on with the chicken. Meat thermometer right in the thickest part of the breast. Now this is gonna go in the oven until the chicken hits like 163 and then everything should just be perfect. It will definitely be perfect. Chicken cooks pretty quick, so I kick that up to 400 degrees. That way the vegetables will get cooked all the way through. The chicken skin will, should get brown and crispy on the outside without being too dry on the inside. That looks perfect. Vegetables, I can tell that they're roasted really nicely. They've developed some good color, nice and tender. The skin evenly browned, nice and crisp. We're gonna let this cool down for a little bit before we slice into it. And it's really that simple. This is dinner right here, dinner tonight. You can make this so delicious. The flavor in all of these elements just comes together. It's so comforting, warm, delicious. I'll take the tray out before I serve it, slice it up squeeze some of that lemon across all of it and uh, man, it's just impeccable. I think you're gonna love this one. Give it a try and let me know what you think down in the comments. Make this for somebody that you care about.